Hey, Mom. Hi, sweetie. How was rehearsal? It was great. Oh, my gosh. I am so excited about tonight. You're coming, right? Maria, sit down. Is everything okay? Not exactly. What's wrong? I'm worried about your sister. Why? What's wrong with her? Lexi just found out that her friend died, and she's really upset about it. Oh, well, that's too bad. I mean, I'm sorry that Lexi lost her friend. Where is she? She's in your girls' room. Okay, but why are you telling me this? Because we might not be able to go to your concert. But you promised you would, you would come. Honey, I know what I promised you. But that was before Lexi. Oh, so Lexi comes before me? Maria, you're blowing this all out of proportion. Where's Lexi? She's, it, I told you, she's in your cousin's room. What does Lexi have to do with my concert? Because Lexi is very upset and I need to be there for her. Well, don't you think getting her out of the house and listening to me sing, don't you think that that would help? Sweetie, I just don't think I'll be able to go to your concert. You're always missing my concerts. Maria, just forget it. What's wrong? Like, you don't know. Tell me what's wrong. Mom said that you guys won't be able to come to my concert tonight. Yeah. Did you really lose a friend? Yeah, I did. Her and I were best friends. Oh, yeah? Well, who is this person? Her name is Mary Ellen. But she's gone. I've never heard you mention Mary Ellen. Well, she's a school friend. And she died right in front of me. Well, Mom didn't tell me that. Well, she did. How did Mary Ellen die? We were in music class, and um, Mary Ellen was chewing on some gum, and when she breathed in to blow her instrument, the gum got caught in her throat. And she died in front of me. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. But why does everything always have to be about you? What are you talking about? Things are never about me. This whole family revolves around you. Come on, Lexi. You know that isn't true. Yes, it is. If it's not a chorus concert, it's a, it's a recital. If it's not a recital, it's a trip to the recording studio. Face it. No matter how important something is to me, it always comes second to you. I mean, you're just letting me fall right into the cracks. Lexi, look, I, I can't talk about this anymore. Lexi, wait. No. You've said enough. Come in. Hey. What are you doing here? Your, um... Mom called me. My mother called you? Yeah. She wanted me to talk to you. About what? What are you so angry about? Oh, so my mother didn't tell you why I'm angry? Well, she gave me a brief summary of what happened between you guys, but refresh my memory. <sighs> Mom and Lexi promised to go to my concert. But then but they break they're breaking their promise. They said they might not be able to go. Did they say they were definitely not going? Well, no. But it's not fair. I really wanted them there. Listen, I know you're disappointed. Oh I'm way past disappointed. I am furious. My mother was always missing my concerts. I mean, Lexi was wrong. Things don't revolve around me. 
Maybe they're not supposed to. What are you talking about? I'm my mother's daughter, too. Lexi's not her only daughter. You know, it's horrible to lose a friend. Look, I know, but it's not like she was close to this person. How do you know that? Because Lexi's never mentioned her friend. So how close can they be? Closer than you'll ever know. And you really shouldn't be angry at your mom. Why shouldn't I? She promised she would c Listen. You know... What? You do realize that I don't have a mother. You don't? No. She passed away when I was nine. I'm 12 now. Okay? What's your point? Oh, for goodness sake. The point is, before... The night before my mother died, I told her that I hated her. That's the last thing I said to her before she died. Really? Yeah. And it cuts my night, my heart into two. And there's no way I could take back what I said. Do you want to make the same mistake I did? But my mom isn't dead and she's not on her way to dying. Maybe not. But tomorrow's never a guarantee. And you shouldn't be so hard on your mom. I know I shouldn't be. But mom is always putting Lexi before me. And Lexi thinks the opposite. I, I'm just really mad that my mother can't come. All because of Lexi. Look. Like I said, I can understand that you're disappointed. Don't take it out on your mom and don't take it out on Lexi. Why not? They're the ones deciding that they don't want to go. Family always comes first. You should know that. You know, your life lessons are really annoying. Maybe they are. But they're true, aren't they? Think about what I said, okay? I'll see you at school. Bye, Emily. Yeah, like anything's gonna happen to mom. <sighs> I'm gonna lay down and close my eyes for a while. <sighs> Just think, something could happen to your mother. <laughs> Lexi, is that you? It's me. Are you crying because of your friend? <laughs> worse. Well, what could be worse? Mom. What about mom? She had a heart attack and she passed away. That's not funny, Lexi. I'm not kidding. She said she was, before she died, she said she was so upset about how you were mad at her. She just got so stressed to you mean it's my fault? It is your fault. You basically killed her. Oh my gosh. It is my fault. It's all my fault. It's all my fault. It's my fault. It's my fault. It's my fault. Oh my god. It was just a bad dream. But Emily was right. I can't stay mad at my mother. I gotta make this right. I just can't believe Maria is so angry with us. Mom, we should go to Maria's concert. We did promise. But honey, aren't you upset? I have the rest of my life to be upset. Lexi. Mom, I'm serious. Maria was really counting on us to c come to her concert. We can't let her down. But honey, what about your grief? Mom, I told you. I have my whole life to grieve. Well, I hope not. 
Mom, the point is, is that I love Maria way too much to disappoint her. Your good sister, Lexi. I know I am. Hey, guys. Hey, Maria. Hi, honey. Why don't you sit down? We need to talk. Yeah, I'd like that. I uh, needed to talk to you, too. Well, have a seat. Maria, I know you're upset that Lexi and I can't come to a concert, but no. Let me speak, okay? I'm really sorry that I got so mad about you and Lexi not coming to my concert. I really am. I, I, I was only thinking of myself. Honey, I was going to apologize to you. I knew you were counting on me and Lexi to come. Yeah. But if you need to stay home during this difficult time, I understand. I mean, I don't like it, but I'll understand. I wasn't think I wasn't thinking of yours and Lexi's feelings. I only thought of my own feelings. Well, sweetie, I no, mom. You don't have to come. I know we don't have to, but we decided to come. Don't make me stop you. Don't you want us to come? I do, but I want you to come because you want to, not because you feel you have to. Sweetie, I never feel that I have to, but I would love to come to your concert, and so would your sister, Lexi. Yeah, I'd like to come, if it's still okay with you. It's more than okay. It's great. But Lexi, if you want to talk about, about this... You know, about your loss. I'm here for you. Thanks. Well, what are we doing sitting around here talking? We got to get ready to go. And you have to get into the shower. <laughs> are you sure you're making the right decision by coming to my concert? I'm positive. Now go get washed up. Love you, Mom. I love you, too. Well, let's get ready to go.